Mugs and Barbs, how are we doing? It's Monday, it's live from Cara's house again. How quick is that week on? I can't believe it. Wow, week eight, we're there. We are closer and closer and closer to achieving our goal. Well done. So, it's so good to see you. I'm in a different room today, so it's a bit echoey. So bear with me. So first of all, I'd like to say hi, Cara here again, give us a big wave. So good to see you, thank you for coming back. Um, well done for all your efforts you put in last week. I received the most brilliant video from Gabrielle, who decided to not just dance, but to use a prop. And she sent me a video of using two props and dancing to Camp Rock, and it was absolutely brilliant. I even went and did it myself afterwards. Um, it was so much fun, so well done, Gabrielle. I was so impressed. It's nice to see you so happy at home, and um, Mummy was clearly enjoying herself too, wasn't she? Um, speaking of mummies, I hope you're still enjoying your time at home with your families. I am, I think it's brimming, brimming brilliant. Having such a good time with my children, just enjoying each other's company, enjoying the sunshine, um, playing games, just generally having some quality time together and whenever I think they need a cuddle, that's what they get. So if one of them's feeling sad, which we all feel sad sometimes, don't we? They get a cuddle and it cheers them up and it cheers me up too, which is brilliant. So hopefully it won't be long until we see you. Let's hope so, because I'd like to see your faces and I'd like to be in the same room as you, not in a little room on my own. This is a funny room, this one. This is our music room. I'll show you around. We're in the middle of decorating. So we've got some decks, we've got a piano, and we've got me. Hi. So, I have some really good news. I am now the proud owner of an RPA phone. Yay! So you know what that means? You can now send your messages and videos direct to me. So I get them first hand and then I can send them to Fee because she was getting so many messages. Um, it's nice that we can receive our own children's messages and we can pass them on to Fee. So my number, have you got a pen and paper? Is 07747-7. Four nine seven nine seven five, and that's Cara with a C at RPA. So use that number whenever you like, even if you just want to message me to say hi. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited to have my phone. So at the moment, what's our main rule of RPA? Can you shout it to me? Is to have loads and loads and loads and loads of fun. Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do. There's no other goal at all. Just have loads of fun, be happy, keep smiling, and yeah, that's it. Have loads of fun, that's all it's about, isn't it? Can I just say, I have absolutely horrible hay fever, so my voice is just shocking. Um, I'm hoping it will last. For the length of this video, if it doesn't, we'll have to start doing some sign language, won't we? You can be my friends. That's right. Thank you. So, I hope you enjoyed our Zoom news earlier. If you didn't manage to get on, that's fine. Um, and if you want to tell somebody some news, but not necessarily anybody on the screen, then that's also fine. Just run and tell your grown-up. You can run, you can pause this video now if you want to. Um, Go and tell them some news, go and tell them some good news, some bad news, how you're feeling, what you hope to happen this week, um, your dreams. What did you dream about last night? Was it a good one? <gasps> Should I tell you my news? Like I've already said, my hay fever is absolutely shocking. Awful. But do you know what? I've had my medicine and it just proves that there is a fix for everything because I feel so much better than yesterday. Even though I'm still very sniffy, there is a fix. So my point of that is, whatever your problem is, your worry, there is always something to fix it. So ask your grown up, ask them for help, help um, and they can fix it for you, I promise. A pinky promise, there's always a fix. So today, 
following on from last week, we did some disco dancing, didn't we? And then the week before, we did some country dancing. So going along the theme of doing a different dance style every week, I thought it would be fun to do some jive. If you don't know what jive is, I'm going to show you. We're going to learn a bit and you're going to find a nice big space. But before we do that, we're going to do a little warm up from the head to the toe, just to warm up all the parts of our body. And I'll incorporate some jive moves in it. So when we come to the choreography, you'll have practiced them already. So it shouldn't be too tricky. So jump up for me. Find a nice big space in your room. We're going to start from the top to the bottom. So let's start by moving our head from side to side, nice and gently. Well done. Remember to keep your tummy nice and still. Breathe in and zip it up. Can we do very softly front and back, but not all the way back? Just here. You don't want to squash your spine. There we go. Now can we go to the side and do a half circle? We can. Well, that's it. Well done. Nice and gently with our heads. And can we really carefully do a full circle? Well done. Now when you've warmed up your head, that feels good, doesn't it? We can give it a shake. We can move onto our shoulders and bring them up and down. Up and down. Can they touch your ears? Really? Well done. Can we open our feet? And can we do one shoulder at a time? That's it. You can go a bit quicker if you want to. We can do quick ones with two shoulders, quick ones. Anything you like, just move those shoulders, give them a wiggle, well done. Now let's bring our hands in front of our chest. We're going to twist to the side, taking our head with us. This is warming up our torso, isn't it? Which keeps it nice and strong. Well done. Now let's bring your feet in together. Let's do some really super arm circles with a bend in our knees and a big breath. And if it helps you breathe, go whoosh. That's it, whoosh, very good, whoosh, well done, now can we put our hands on our hips and can we wiggle our hips, very good, very good, can we wiggle our hips, <gasps> can we go around the other way, yes we can, well done, now can we stand in a first position, which is our heels together and our toes out, hands on your hips, and we're going to bend, now this is called a plie in ballet, we're going to make a diamond shape, can you see? Keeping your back and your tummy nice and straight, can you see? Nice and straight, not like this, not like this, nice and straight, we just go down, and we've done a few of those, can we open out to second, and do some more bits? There we go, well done, well done, well done, now shall we do? Some jumps on the spot. Well done. Can we go side to side? Well done. Can we go forward and back? Forward and back. And side, 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 side. Clap. Yes, well done. I think that we're nicely warmed up for jive, aren't we? But I didn't go through any of our moves with you, did I? Let me do that now. Grab some water if you need to. Um because, let me just put my phone on silent, because it's quite warm, isn't it? So, our jive movements. Now, jive comes from the 1930s. Let's come back down here. It comes from the 1930s, and it was all about having fun, going crazy, dancing at the local disco with a partner and some cool skirts and some scarves and some cool hairstyles, and I might have a cheeky little surprise for you. Um, it's so much fun, this dance, and it makes you smile. Let me show you some moves, okay? So in our choreography, we're going to have moves like, hand like this, feet like this, okay? And we switch, and we switch, and we sh and So they're quite short and sharp movements. Switch, switch. If you just want to practice the hands first, that's it. Switch into the feet. Our feet are doing this. Other moves we'll be doing are we pick our 
foot up, we touch our heel, we touch our heel, we touch our heel, we touch our heel, and we do it on the other foot. Heel, 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 ha! Huh? You have to find your balance, and that's a tricky one. The other move we'll be doing is, we do a kick forward, and we use the opposite arm to leg, like this. And we bring it in, and we do a kick to the side. And we do it on the other leg as well. So always remember, it's the opposite arm to leg. Yes. Oh, I'm very wobbly today. Sorry, it's my flipping hay fever, isn't it? We're also going to do a hand jive. Now, we will go through this with the choreography, but it's knee taps, claps, mash potato. We do some slices. That's it. And we use some hitch of eye. So you stick your thumb up. You stick your hip out, hit your ride. That's it. Well done. And that's pretty much the hand jive. So, the piece of music we're going to use is, I'll show you, it's from the film Grease. One of my favourite films ever. It's fabulous. Um, it's with John Travolta. The music is called Hand Jive and it's by the Shanana. <laughs> Shanana. S H A N A N A. And what we're going to do is we're going to start the choreo straight after the intro. So as soon as the vocals come in, we'll start with our hand jive and we hand jive for eight counts. So I'm going to let you listen to the music and then we're going to start, okay? We're going to start now, okay? So, let's start. So, we are going to start with our feet together. As I said, we listen to the intro, we get ready, and we start as soon as the vocals come in. And we start with eight taps on our knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, into eight claps. Now keep it bouncy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got it? Next one is mashed potato for eight counts. However, it's only four mashed potatoes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Into slices. Again, it's four slices for the count of eight. And we're going to open our leg and push our hip. Two, three, four. Okay? So, from the beginning, we have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 